Hi everyone, it's Friday. Welcome to New Day, New Word. And I'm Marcia Grace, your modern meditation mentor. And today on this really cold, sunny day here on Long Island, we're still in a deep freeze, but uh, it is moderating. So <laughs> that's good news. Um, I am really ex excited today because uh, I was uh, attending an event uh, a wonderful networking event and uh, there were so many wonderful people there uh, that I got to meet and old friends that I got to uh, see again and that was wonderful uh, and I d came uh, and m met someone who I had seen give a talk at one of my business meetings a couple of years ago and so we introduced ourselves again to each other and I said to him uh, please uh, give me a word I, I do this new day new word and uh, letter E is our letter for today can you think of a word to offer me so uh, if you can do that I'll share it with everybody on Friday so he said uh, yeah, great. I'd love to do that. And his name, let me tell you, is Jim Ryan. And he is a motivational speaker and an author of books on happiness. So that's a great thing. Um, let's see. I have his card right here. Simple happiness, right? So, um, uh, so the word that he offered me was eulogy. <laughs> And when I first heard it, I said, eulogy, hmm, I don't know if that's uh, <laughs> something I want to talk about. Um, of course, the word eulogy means uh, giving a, a, a talk, a prepared presentation uh, about someone who has passed on. And so I said, well, I don't know if I really want to do that. And I said, you know, tell me why you chose that word. And uh, he said that he, he really feels it is one of the greatest things that you can do in your life is to um, come to the end, you know, and when you've gone, that you know that people will speak about you in kindness and in love. What greater thing, what greater way is there to indicate that you've lived a, a really wonderful life, uh, but to have someone actually speak words of love and, uh, and, and uh, positivity about, about you. So I said, wow, that, that sounds really, really great. Okay, let's use the word. So, uh, so here I am. And uh, of course, if you, if you think that's, a, that's interesting, you know, just give me a like, please. Hi, Patrick. Good to see you. I'm going to wave at you. <laughs> um, so glad you're here. Uh, so if you have any comments, uh, Patrick, do you want to say something about uh, having a eulogy? Would you like to have a eulogy done for you? Oh, you know what? I, before I do that, though, what I want to I want to tell you a funny story, because when I was in um, uh, seminary, I'm an interfaith minister, for those who aren't aware, uh, I one of the things we had to do was we had to write our own funeral. So that was pretty, pretty interesting. And I, I really got into it. I, I thought it was really um, a good exercise and a good way to, for me to think about uh, how I want to live my life now so that I can be eulogized in a loving way when I'm no longer here in the flesh. So... <laughs> <laughs> so that's um, that was a, a really great exercise. So, uh, Patrick, let's see. Do you want to come on? I'm gonna see if you want to come on, and you can join me. I look a little lopsided today. I don't know. Do I do I feel a little lopsided? I put on this shirt this morning, and it was like I wanted something warm because it's uh, so chilly here. Even in my house, it's it's cool. Um, so. Uh, what I, what I also would like to say about eulogies is that it does help us, as I started to say before, help us to think about how we perceive ourselves in our current life. How, are, how am I living my life today? Uh, what Jim talks about is about being happy. And um, happiness is, of course, a very subjective thing. We, we really, you know, one person's idea of happiness may not be another's. Uh, or what causes us to be happy may be different for different people. But 
uh, the fact still remains, I think, that there's a certain understanding that happiness um, connotes that your life is going well, that you're obviously doing things that are um, pleasing to you, are, are causing you to uh, feel successful or feel complete or whatever, uh, whatever it is. So, um, and, and that's, that's, a, that's a really wonderful thing because then you can say, well, then, I, I am knowing feeling happy means I must be sharing myself with the people around me in a positive way, in a way that makes others feel happy too. So, and that's really, isn't that the biggest way that we can demonstrate true happiness? That not only am I happy, but everybody around me is happy. Of course, in Miracles says that. It says, uh, how do you know that you're listening to, to your inner guide, guide that's uh, on your right side of your mind? Uh, and, and the, and the uh, stipulation is that if not only you are happy, but the people around you are happy. So, uh, and, and so then you can, you can be assured that when you're eulogized, you're going to hear, you're going to hear it from wherever you are. <laughs> you're going to hear nice things. And so, of course, that's, uh, that's a wonderful um, uh, way to live your life, you know, to live as if uh, it could be tomorrow. I'm not here anymore. I, I often say that. I say, I feel at this point I am so blessed because I have been able to accomplish the, one, the big goal, which was to publish a book. There it is back there. Um, and the next one is coming uh, very soon. Um, so that was my big, big goal. And uh, I, of course, I have many others. But, um, uh, you know, so I, I say to myself, if I went tomorrow, I, I would feel complete. I, I, you know, as much as there are so many other things I, I want to do and um, so forth, I, I, I would not, it, it wouldn't be a terrible thing. I, I would feel I had left behind enough of a, um, a legacy that, uh, that um, I made my contribution to the world uh, in the best way uh, I could. And um, yeah, so what's, what's better to say than that, right? Um, uh, any thoughts? Anybody want to say anything? Um, oh, I'm going to wave at you, Edmund. Hi. And uh, I guess, Patrick, you didn't want to come on camera, huh? All right. Um, so, uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I was hoping that uh, Jim would uh, join us, but I don't see him with us. So, maybe he was having some, uh, some issue come up. Uh, such as life, right? We never know what's going to happen next. And uh, you know, you know what else that makes me think about when I think about um, legacy and and having a great eulogy. Uh, I think about um, how we handle stress. How do we handle stress? I think that's you know, it's when you're when things are flowing and everything's going well, it's easy to be happy and 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 uh, be nice to people and stuff like that. But what happens when? Thank you. <laughs> what happens when things are not going so well? When somebody cuts you off on the road, right? Do you, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> or do you, um, uh, do you say, hey, and I've done this myself, so I, I will say that this is the truth. I have said, when someone's cut me off, I said, wow, well, I've done that myself. So, you know, it could be you just um, didn't look properly or you know your your mind is so caught up with some issue that you're you're really not thinking clearly you know people make mistakes we all make mistakes so so that that to me is an important aspect of of this whole idea that we want to be sure that we can handle whatever comes at us in a happy fashion or or in a in a positive way or in a way that's focused that's clear that's um uh, 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 I won't say unemotional because it's practically impossible to be unemotional when um, the you know what hits the fan, but uh, we certainly can be uh, um, open. And, and this is this to me, for me, this is essentially where having a meditation practice helps us to. Um, to be in a place where we can handle difficulties with ease. 
in it with a in a way that um, gets us through it quicker and helps us be more um, uh, cognizant of the various ways we can handle the situation so that it can come to a happy conclusion so um, that uh, I think pretty much is what I wanted to say uh, about about our word today eulogy uh, I hope that you will consider how you're living your life today uh, and how you're impacting the people around you so that when your time comes and you are no longer here, that people will say beautiful things about you. And uh, knowing Patrick, I know they will. Uh, Ed, I don't know you, but uh, if you're with me, I'm sure you probably are doing great stuff too. So uh, I'm uh, going to close for now. I'm going to wish you a very happy week uh, until we hopefully meet again next Friday. Many blessings. Bye-bye.